The town of Sunderland is celebrating three centuries of community this year as it marks its tercentennial, and, according to parade co-chairman Brenda Wozniakovich, you have to have a parade to celebrate this milestone. The parade, part of a variety of tercentennial events, gets underway Saturday at 1 p.m. from Sunderland Elementary School. It ends at North Silver Lane. The parade will include the Frontier Regional School Band, veterans, elected officials, the Belcher Town Twirlers, the Manchester, Connecticut, Pipe and Drum Band, the Haw Tamales Band, Fire and Police Department contingents, horses and a state police mounted unit. Sunderland, in southern Franklin County, was incorporated as a town in 1718. Before being incorporated, it was known as Swampfield, a name given by its first settlers because of its swampland near the Connecticut River. Farming developed as the primary industry, particularly crop production in the rich soil of the River Valley. Today, the town is more of a bedroom community with its proximity to out-of-town jobs, especially at the nearby University of Massachusetts in Amherst and other area colleges. One of the town's claims to fame is the Buttonball Tree, a giant sycamore near the center of town on Route 47. It is said to be the widest tree east of the Mississippi River. It is more than 113 feet tall, with a spread of 140 feet and a girth of more than 24 feet. A plaque in front of the tree recognizes it for having lived here at the time of the signing of our Constitution, bringing its roots to at least before 1787. To celebrate all things Sunderland and its 300th birthday, the town will host a variety of events and activities starting on Friday and running through Sunday. More events are planned for Columbus Day weekend in October and Veterans Day in November. We want people to see Sunderland as it is, a great town, Wozniakovich said. She has lived in Sunderland for 30 years and likes the country feel and the proximity to shopping and services. People know each other, it's a friendly atmosphere, she says. Celebrating three centuries of community is the theme of the anniversary celebration. Events are being planned that will focus on the mountains, the river, agriculture, recreation, artists, history and the people who make up the town. This weekend's celebration festivities include Sunderland Elementary School performances, a Sunderland birthday cake contest for children, live music, dance and karate demonstrations, the parade, children's activities, fireworks and polka dancing. An oral history project is recording people's short stories about the town. Longtime residents Dan Olenek and Debbie Wilder, of D. A portion of the profits from their Sunderland anniversary collection helps to fund town-wide activities. Also, Mike Walunas, a local craftsman, is creating custom plaques for historic Sunderland homes 100 years and older. The energy surrounding the tercentennial is trickling through town, Wozniakovich said. People are sprucing up their front yards and homes. It's a neat effect to see this happening throughout town. For more information on tercentennial activities, visit the celebration's website, sunderland300.com.